We wanted to have that traditional feeling that the player made the decisions, uh, that you had to play position golf certain places and you could bounce it in, you, you had to cut it, you had to hook it. It's the weather conditions that will dictate the score being low or high. This golf course will give up good scores. Just on the back nine, you've got two par fives and a driver with a par four, so that gives guys a chance to make maybe some birdies and eagles. Frost for the win. So he stopped the bleeding after three straight bogeys at 14, 15, and 16. There's your winner. To finish with a birdie. <laughs> His margin of victory, seven. The first in 18 years to successfully defend a tournament title while also winning for a second straight week in the PGA Tour. Regardless of whether he wins or not this week, I think he's proven he's the real deal. The man who tamed the Tiger here this afternoon, veteran Ed Fiore. Trees. It's on a pretty good line. Oh man, it almost made it. Williamson now from 189 yards. Oh, that is left. I don't believe this. Oh goodness. Stage is clear for Kenny Perry. He was between six and seven. Now it's just a standard seven for the fat of the green. The wider target. Dry. That's all that matters. Yeah. By far my best year ever at 47. So I guess 47 is now the new 30. Right. So <laughs> <laughs> pretty neat win for me, knowing I didn't have my A game, and yet to still be able to come out on top. That that gives me a lot of confidence. Five birdies in a row to start the back and I really solidified the day. Like I said, I go, let's see if you can birdie the last three holes, which is 59. High into the air, brings it to the right of the flagstick, and then has it trickle toward the cup. Paul Goidos has hit it to within seven feet for a birdie to shoot 59. Back and through, pushing it toward the cup, and he's done it! He's done it! Shot 59. Paul Goidos will get the place in the history books, but unable to close it out because of the stellar play by Steve Stricker. 12 30s on the 12 par fives. Well hold. It was a tough day. It was it was a grind and, and Paul put a lot of pressure on me and I was able to hang on. Another Awkward stance for Stricker. It became apparent that I had to keep at least my left foot in there and keep my right outside the bunker. And, but I felt pretty confident, you know, my footing was pretty good and, and I took an extra club thinking I could get it all the way back to the pin. He's talking 171 is carry the water on the line that he's on. And he has gone to six iron. Sounded like playing some a heck of a line. You are kidding me. That was a great shot. He's got a lot of friends to enjoy it with him. For birdie and the win. Looking good. Oh my goodness! For three in a row, Steve Stricker! What a putt! I felt good about the read in the back of the green, and I had a little bit of fringe to go through, but it wasn't that bad. But I was trying to make it. Yeah, for sure I was trying to make it. And, you know, you don't expect that to go in, but uh, I'm sure glad it did.